didn't get as much negativity as I thought I would, but um, for you that don't like the kit or something, um, you can feel feel free to, you know, find a kit that is it, and once you show me it, I will promptly explain why I can't use it, because <laughs> I've looked at basically every kit, and uh, a lot of you keep showing me the one in Germany that's like $8,000, well, I did contact them, first of all, there's like, Germany's stupid, and it has like a 19% tax on stuff, which is like, ridiculous, because New Jersey's, uh, in America, each state is different percentage, but New Jersey is 7% sales tax on everything, that's it, and Germany it's like 19%, so it's 7,900 euros, with plus 19%, plus shipping to America, plus it would take 8 weeks before they could ship it out. So, it's like, what, $10,000? That's ridiculous. There's no way I'm going to spend that kind of money on a kit. So, I think I'm going to be uh, doing the radiator of my shitty Sentra first, because I just need to get that out of the way. That's what I was talking about. The bumpers now joined together and everything. So is the rear bumper right there. But I'm just gonna take it off because I'm gonna go take this car to Walmart to get coolant for that car because everything's good. It just needs coolant now. And to get more brushes and to get a grinding wheel for the, um, what are they called? Dremels. Because to make those like fine curved cuts right here and stuff, I'm gonna need the Dremel more. Because the grinder can only really make straight cuts, you can't really make too good of like a corner cuts that are tiny with it. And then I think the bumper will look more normal because it's ridiculously wide. So I'm back. I have this thing right here covering the window. Um, other than that, this car seems to be waterproof. It seems like the windshield and the backs and quarters sealed well. But yeah. So currently right now, um, obviously I finished fiberglass and that, finished fiberglass and this together. So now I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking of cutting and I made this paper mock-up. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to like figure it out. I know the vents aren't too far from this at all, but I'm just trying to see, I don't know if this should be longer or what, but I think this is kind of nice. I know that this diagonal angle is needs to be exact with this one. That's all I'm like really aware of. But the rest, I mean, I figured I could have some fun with this, kind of design my own shape instead of using the standard M3 one and stuff like that but I think that is very very close to the standard one either way so it's just weird because there's so much bare like space here so it kind of makes it, it th I think that's what makes this bumper seem so insanely wide and I mean it is insanely wide but it's basically the fact that like the vents here and then it's just like forever 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 whoop. so I got it marked out um, so basically the thing I realized is a, the line up here is supposed to be with this one. I can't really do that here because it has like a body line which I don't want to mess with just because I think it gives the bumper some kind of life versus not having anything. Um, but also, this one was far too big because I realized it's only like 60 to 70 percent of the vent's height so I made it skinnier um, and I think it looks a lot better that way. And same thing on this side as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead, uh, I got some Dremel blades so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out and we'll see how it looks.
So what do you guys think of that? Uh, I think the, the holes are really, really needed. Um, and I think it makes it look a lot better. Um, it's really hard to like appreciate this car without fenders because it just looks so damn awkward. But from this angle, I think it looks crazy. Yeah, but definitely the holes are needed. I'm gonna go uh, to Home Depot one of the days, um, maybe after H2O, and find like the ducks. You know the ducks, the openings for the circles. Uh, they make rectangular ones and try to find one as big as that hole and rivet it from the back and paint it all black and then run NACA hoses to the inside of the rotors for brake cooling because I think that'll be a really good purpose built thing for it. But it's raining out still, pouring, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, collect all this crap, tidy it up, bring the car in, and then, yeah. Then tomorrow, I think, for the rear bumpers, you can see, uh, I already marked it, but I'm gonna cut out the vents. Um, this is very similar to the GTR. Uh, this bumper, the 2006 GTR, at least, like I mentioned, the Advin black and red one, the Yokohama Advin one, and then, as you can see, I have marks there, too, where I'm gonna cut the lip of the quad exit exhaust and just shave that so it's, like, completely as if there is nothing cut out there, and then from there I can start building the whip and stuff. But um, I, I, I've been e emailing with the seller and he still has yet to send me the two other tracking codes because he said he would send me it when he gets home. And I think it's already like super late there in the UK, but hopefully he sends me it soon. Because like, I don't even know where it is or how far out it is. He told, he told me that he sent everything uh, at the same time. So, oh, I don't know why this came so fast and then the rest are coming slow. Obviously nothing's coming today, but yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Sorry this is kind of going so slow, it's just the rain is slowing me down, and then also I had to do the shit car, the Sentra, uh, do the radiator on that, and that kind of took a little bit. So guys, that's it for today. Like I said, I'll see you guys tomorrow.